Hey everybody, welcome to the video. This is Terry Bodar. Uh, we're going to talk about Google's Polymer 1.0 and how to send an AJAX request using Iron AJAX to uh, PHP and handle the response uh, using POST. Uh, so the first thing you're going to have to have is a local server up and running, Apache, MAMP, XAMPP, and you're also going to have to have Polymer installed. So let's go ahead and jump in. The first thing you're going to want to do is include the web components file. And if you look at my code here, I've also included some paper elements just to help with some of the basic styling stuff. And here is the file that you're going to really want to include. This is the Iron Ajax file that's going to give you all those cool Ajax features. Let's go ahead and start working on our uh, component here. So our component is going to be called a login form. So you can name the, set, the file login form.html. Uh, we'll start off with our module tag here, id login-form. I'm going to go ahead and dump in some code here. Uh, <clears throat> first thing we're going to have to do is put our template in. So our template's pretty basic. Um, if you take out the paper elements I put in, even more basic. So I've got two input fields. Uh, if you notice, this is an important part. Input uh, with the uh, colon colon or email colon colon input, password colon colon input. That's going to allow it to bind to our properties. Uh, <clears throat> Now let's look at the Iron Ajax tag. Um, pretty basic. Uh, I've got a post method, a URL to actually send the request to. We're going to be handling it as JSON. And this is the function that we're going to send uh, the response to in our actual uh, Polymer object here. So the next thing to do is to write the actual script that's going to make this stuff happen. So this is where we'll use the Polymer function. Right, the first attribute, attribute we're going to include is the is attribute. And it's going to match up with our ID of our DOM module at the top. So we're going to use uh, login-form. Second thing we're going to look at is the properties. This is where we're actually going to set the uh, email field and the password field so we can interact with our um, paper inputs at the top. All right, so I set both types to string. The initial values are null, null for both. Again, it matches the uh, tags that we have set for the values and natural HTML elements of our component. All right, now let's do the try login attribute here. So this is the function we're actually gonna to send to uh, when we click our button. So if you check out the on click, uh, it's gonna to go to try login. Now, the generate request is what actually makes the request. And here's a little trick that I think there is to send the post request. Okay, so when you use ajax.body and create a little data list, um, in our console, we'll echo it out so we can see what's going on here. And we build the data list, and the important part about building the data list is use encode URI component. Okay, without that, it's not going to go into the post array uh, in PHP. All right, now let's go ahead <coughs> and work on our uh, response handler. So we'll just I just call it login response. So the Ajax is going to send the response here. Um, the response object is called detail. Uh, you can get dot response. And then success is actually in, uh, part of the JSON that we sent through. So here is our, my little PHP page that we're going to actually um, use to send the response. And I'm just going to make a simple JSON every time. It's just going to send success one. So it should pass our first uh, check right there. Okay. Now let's go into our main page and let's use this element we just created. So you see right now, we go to the page, nothing shows up. Let's go ahead and add that custom element into our uh, Polymer Ajax PHP page. All right, and remember, the name is of your elements just going to be the same as in your DOM module ID. So first things first, let's make our custom tag here. 
Okay, and to make the tag work, keep in mind we have to actually include the login form.html file that holds our uh, custom component. Okay. So now we'll take a look at our page again. Our form, our paper form is showing up. Okay, so we can enter in an email address here, a password. It's always gonna return success in my example, but you can see the interaction here. So there's our string we passed through. It goes to the PHP post. Um, we get success equals one and successful login. And here's a little treat for uh, my fans on YouTube. You know, here's my race walking uh, event from this weekend. Uh, you can see I did pretty well. I was right back here. You can see the top right hand part of my forehead. Great event. Um, you get a chance involve your family, friends, um, even strangers into a race walking. I'm sure you're going to love it. It's a great sport.